The number of Ukrainians and Russians killed or wounded in the two and a half years of war has reached approximately one million people. At the same time, the number of civilian deaths remains unknown since more than 8,000 people died during the Russian capture of Mariupol alone, according to Human Rights Watch. The Wall Street Journal reports that a confidential Ukrainian estimate at the beginning of the year put the number of Ukrainian servicemen killed at 80,000 and wounded at 400,000. Western intelligence estimates of Russian losses vary, with some putting the number of dead at nearly 200,000 and wounded at around 400,000. One of Vladimir Putin's motivations for launching the invasion in 2022 is to increase Russia's population by absorbing Ukrainians. According to government and demographer estimates, as a result of Russia's invasions and occupation of Ukrainian territory over the past 10 years, Ukraine has lost at least 10 million people to occupation or as refugees. Putin has long declared solving Russia's chronic demographic decline as a priority, and the Kremlin has since launched a campaign to russify the occupied territories, including kidnapping children and handing out Russian passports to Ukrainians. Modern Ukraine was once part of the Russian Empire, and Putin has repeatedly said he seeks to return the country to Moscow's rule. He denies Ukrainian identity and statehood, and claims that Ukrainians are part of the Russian nation. The war has had a devastating impact on Russia's domestic demography and labor market. Since the full-scale invasion began, more than 600,000 Russians have fled the country. These are mostly young professionals who could afford to move to other countries and start a new life. Russia's attack has had a catastrophic impact on Ukraine's population. The 2001 census counted 48 million residents. That number had fallen to 40 million in early 2022 before Russia invaded, according to Ukrainian demographers and government officials. Since the war began in February 2022, more than 6 million people have fled Ukraine and Russia has seized more land, according to the United Nations, reducing the total population in Kiev-controlled territory to 25 to 27 million. Alexander Gladun, a research fellow at the Tuka Institute of Demography, believes that before the full-scale invasion, there were 42 million people in Ukraine and after, about 29 million. Days of heavy rains have caused widespread flooding and forced evacuations in several Central European countries, including the Czech Republic, Austria, Poland and Romania. Slovakia and Hungary might come next as a result of a low-pressure system from northern Italy dumping record rainfall in the region since last Thursday. The floods have killed six people in Romania and one each in Austria and Poland. In the Czech Republic, Four people who were swept away by waters were missing, police said. Most parts of the Czech Republic have been affected as authorities on Sunday declared the highest flood warnings at around 100 places across the country. But the situation was worst in two northeastern regions that recorded the biggest rainfall in recent days, and tens of thousands of people have been asked to move to higher ground. The Oder River that flows to Poland was reaching extreme levels in the city of Ostrava and in Bohumen, prompting evacuations. Parts of Ostrava, the regional capital, and third-largest Czech city, were still underwater on Monday, and centers had been set up for those asked to leave their homes. Mayor Jan Donnell said the city will face major traffic disruptions in the days to come. Almost no trains were operating in the region. The weather change arrived following a hot start to September in the region. Scientists have documented Earth's hottest summer, breaking a record set just a year ago. A hotter atmosphere, driven by human-caused climate change, can lead to more intense rainfall.